Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos. Bright arc of India France tie. As we all know that in our Republic Day, uh, France president has been invited as the chief guest. So this is what the news is about. That is the reason why it has came in the newspaper. So in this news, we will analyze about the different aspect of India and France ties. First, we will look into how the news has been related with examination. Under prelims, the news is related with current events of national as well as international importance. Similarly, under mains, it has been related with bilateral, regional and global groupings and agreements involving India or affecting the India's interest. So, this is how the news has been related with UPSC prelims as well as mains. Okay, let us look into the details of the news. So, in 1998, French President Jacques Chirac has expressed the idea of partnership for the 21st century with India. Why? Because this, uh, this man has pred predicted or made an assumption that India is going to be the powerhouse during the 2000, uh, 21st century. That is the reason why he has made uh, such a statement during 1998's visit to India. And uh, Chirac was the chief guest for India's Republic Day during 1976. But during 1976, he was chief guest in the capacity of Prime Minister of France, not as the President of France. And uh, during that time, we all know that India was under emergency. And after Chirac's visit in 1998, India conducted nuclear tests during the May, during the May month of that year. In both the instance, that is during uh, 1976 when, he, when India was under emergency and during 1998 when India conducted nuclear test, the western countries severely sanctioned India. But during the both the times also, the France have not made any kind of sanction. On the, on the contrary, they have supported the India's cause. And this is what the thing is about and both the instance that uh, both the instance of the France stand with regards to the India's that is during 1976 as well as 1998 emphasizes that the France approach towards the Indian policy or Indian foreign policy is pragmatic as well as it has foresighted the India's power of India is going to be the powerhouse in the 21st century and this is the sixth time French leader will be the chief guest for India's Republic Day celebration and the one important thing which we have to note is that the first invitation which India gave for the Republic Day celebration is to the US President Joe Biden. But after his non-availability, India has changed the chief guest to the France President, that is Emmanuel Macron. But so with knowing that France is the second option for India, they have graciously accepted the invitation and also at the same time they have participated in the Republic Day celebration as the chief guest. This shows how France considers India as important partners with regards to the future development and also with regards to the India Pacific arena. Okay, this year is the 25th year of the strategic partnership between India as well as France. So, the India and France strategic partnership, the first that India signed with any other Western countries, has seen progress in bilateral, regional, as well as the international context. And the defense, security, new civil, nuclear, space are the uh, thing which are the important pillars that constitutes the strategic partnership between India and France. And it also includes the component of Indo-Pacific. Uh, and the comprehensive roadmap between India and France was adopted last year and it classified three pillars. That is the partnership for security and sovereignty, partnership for planet as well as partnership for people. So, these are all the three pillars that encompose the roadmap between the India and France relationship. Okay, let us look into the major pillars of the cooperation between India and France. The first pillar is the defense. See, India and France have the robust defense partnership and the bilateral defense cooperation is reviewed under annual defense dialogue, which will be uh, represented by the defense ministry of the both the sides and also high committee of the defense cooperation which will be represented by the secretary level on the both sides and the DRDO has also opened its office in 2023 in the embassy for strengthening the technical cooperation with regards to the defense relation and then the procurement of the Rafale jet by India from France is the testament for the 
defense relationship between india and france and also france defense exercise uh, with india has grown in the scope as well as the complexity over the years so this is what the defense relationship between india and france is about and let's look into the space relationship so this year is going to be the 50th year of the relationship between in the isro as well as the french space agency and france is the france is the major supplier for components as well as equipments for isro programs and in terms of civil nuclear cooperation see progress has been made on the jaitapur nuclear power plant which was signed during 2008 but the progress was very slow and at the same time the two two countries have also agreed to establish a partnership on the small modular reactor and advanced modular reactor which is which will be set up in india with the collaboration between india and france and in terms of economic relation france is one of the largest investor in india with fdi inflow of us 659.77 million dollars for the financial year 2022 2023 and the cumulative fdi stock which has flowed from april 2000 until and till uh, september 2023 is 10.76 billion dollars and there are over 70 indian companies which is employing more than 8000 french citizen so these are all the economic relationship and also there is another see the india this year this financial year the india has exported to france a total of 3.6 billion dollars and at the same time india imports from the france is 2.36 billion dollars and india's main export includes engine goods uh, sorry engineering goods petroleum products pharmaceutical products electronic equipments and ready made garments and the main imports from france are the aviation products machine equipments and uh, electrical equipments and chemical products so these are all the main things which has been import exported from india as well as imported from france by india and in terms of digital aspect so upi was launched from the eiffel tower to cater the needs of the digital transaction needs of indian visitors as well as nris those who are living in the france and then cdac as well as ms atox uh, which is the european multinational it service and consulting company based in france have developed 14 super computers for india which includes the high speed param siddhi which will operate at the 4.6 tera uh, peta uh, flop per second so these are all the digital aspect of relationship between india and france in terms of education approximately 10000 indian students are right now studying in the france uh, across various streams as well as discipline and the agreements on mutual recognition of degrees was signed on both the side during 2018 and indo france campus for the health was launched in june 2022 to offer the double degrees and there is a scheme that also allows the students to stay in europe up to 2 years after finishing their master degrees to look for a job this this scheme was also been renewed in 2023 and it was the agree it, it also been agreed to increase the number of students intake into the france university by 30000 by 2030 and at the same time france also announced the issue of schengen visa to indian alumni who have completed at least one semester of their master degree in france so these are all the educational relationship between india and france in terms of community that is living in france is see the mainland france constitute nearly 119000 indians which includes the nris and most of the peoples are from puducherry karaikal yanam mahi chandranagur tamil nadu gujarat as well as punjab in terms of tourism about 2.5 lakh friends are french people are, have traveled to india in 2019 while about 7 lakh indian went to the france for the tourism in terms of destination within the india rajasthan is the leading indian destination for the french tourist and the foreign tourist arriving in the rajasthan generally have doubled since 2018 so this is what the tourism relationship or the tourism aspect of relationship between india and france in terms of the relationship between the both the countries at the international fora is the france has 
continue to support India's permanent membership in the United Nations Security Council. And also at the same time, France also support, uh, supported the India's accession to the missile technology control regime and also Australian group. And at the same time, France also backs India's membership to the nuclear suppliers group, which right now China is blocking the entry of in India into that group. And in terms of the expectation from the uh, recent visit by the French president to India is, see the current visit will give uh, Indian prime minister as well as the French president an opportunity to exchange note of, note of notes on the issue of the mutual interest like French, uh, Russian Ukraine war, Israel Hamas war, China's assertiveness in the Indo-Pacific as well as the defense related cooperation. And in terms of what the French diplomats are saying is that, see the Chirac who was the uh, 1976 French Prime Minister and 1998 French President who have visited India both the times. And he is the admirer of India and saw India as the, as I said, major emerging power and the powerhouse for the, in the 21st century. And that is the reason why he has ensured that there is a greater relationship between India as well as France, which the Macron is carrying forward. So this is what the expectation from the recent visit of the French President to India. So, what net need to be studied further is we should be aware of India US relationship as well as what is United Nations General Assembly, what is United Nations Security Council, its structure, function, as well as the objective and the members who are all the members of it, and how the elections are being conducted in the United Nations Security Council. And we should also be aware of MTCR, Vasana group, as well as the Australian group, in all the group which India is also member, and also we should be aware of NSG and why India could not become the member of the NSG, we should be aware of it. So these are all the things which we needed to be further aware of and with this we have reached the end of this topic.